Hi, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome back to the channel. Lisa here with Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your monthly October love and money reading. So we're going to see what energy comes through for you. As always, let me know in the comments what you're trying to manifest in money, career, love, whatever you want to come back to you. So with that, Gemini, let's see what the energy is here from my beautiful Geminis. What's coming in for October? Oh, look at that. Ace of Air, Ace of Swords energy. Page of Earth, wow. And we also have Emperor energy, Divine Masculine energy. Just have to say too, your next card is the wheel. We're gonna take that as well. And I'm also gonna pull one card from this deck. What else can you share with Gemini? Okay. Wow, I have to take the bottom of the deck on that one too, because it relates. Looking good here, Gemini. Really liking this energy. I'm seeing good news. Let's start with the good news first. You have the page of Earth here. This is good news. This could be around money and career. It can also talk about a new opportunity. Some of you too may be going back to school. So some of you may be deciding to learn something new or take a class or maybe you're going to school. But there's something here around good news and I feel like the good news comes with some sort of opportunity and this can be in love, money, or career. I also see here the Ace of Air, okay? So this is Ace of Swords energy. So strongly here it feels like there is some sort of breakthrough, some sort of new beginning. Now this can talk about clarity too. So you may find out something that maybe you've been waiting for during the month of October, okay? Because this page of uh, Earth 2 can talk about patience, okay? So this could be some sort of opportunity or message. Maybe you've been waiting to hear from somebody, but it's really nice energy. It's a breakthrough energy is strongly what I'm getting. And you find out maybe what you've been wanting to know, you know, maybe you've been waiting for school funding, or maybe you've been waiting to see if you can get into a class that you wanted, or maybe you want to hear from somebody, maybe there's somebody you're interested in love. Well, it's coming strongly. Now, you also have here the Emperor. This is Archangel Michael. We have two cards here of the crown chakra. So a lot of you may be seeing signs and synchronicities at this time, getting a lot of insights. This Ace of Air can also talk about time when you're going to get a lot of brilliant ideas. It may be a time where you feel like you are gaining some sort of clarity you know, these inspirations just may flow through you and it's the divine bringing you these insights. So your intuition is going to be strong here with the crown chakra. Now the emperor here, I'm just going to say some of you, I'm going to go to money and career first. Page of earth and the emperor could tell me there is some sort of new job opportunity. Some of you, it may be you're starting your own business. Some of you, it could be a new employer. So keep that in mind if you are looking for job opportunities. I feel uh, very strongly a job opportunity could come in for you. Also, I'm feeling here too, this is love. Could be a divine masculine energy coming towards you. Somebody who is very structured, very disciplined, definitely a leader type person. Definitely would be somebody who wants to lead uh, the connection or relationship, but very, uh, definitely feel too this could be you being in your power taking the lead right in your career your schooling right or some sort of idea you have the wheel card here too i love this energy wheel of fortune energy another archangel michael card uh, archangel michael is protecting you at this time as the feel is guiding you a time of positive change a situation suddenly moves forward fortune is on your side so luck is on your side Something is definitely, there is a big change coming for you during the month of October. I love it. 
or it may be the start of something. But you also have here the planning phase. And this says, take a step back and plan the necessary steps to move forward. So you may turn your goals into reality, okay? So it is gonna take some planning on your part a vision, right? That's why I say always put those intentions into the comments of what you're trying to manifest because if you don't have the vision, that opportunity may not come to you, okay? So you always have to have that vision. What am I looking for? What I want to happen in my life? And what do I see? What does it feel like? What does it look like? And how does it feel once I get it, okay? That's how we manifest. That's a short version of how we can manifest things in our life. You also have your joyful chapter. I love it. This is happiness, fulfillment, and joy. Take pride in your accomplishments. Celebrate and enjoy your life. Fate is on your side. So you got fate and you also have your luck here. I'm telling you, something, some sort of door and opportunity is opening up for you during the month of October. So, some of you are going to see uh, repeating fours, synchronicities of fours, or synchronicities of ones. Fours are around stabilities, and ones are around new beginnings. So, with that, let's pull your tarot cards specific to love. Thank you, Spirit. What can you share with Gemini regarding love for the month of October? Oh, wow. You got the judgment. You also have here the magician. Two major arcana cards here. You have the seven of wands. Oh, two of wands. Four of wands, a lot of wands energy. So this the, the wands energy tells me that there's some there's action. I feel like there's action here, okay, about to happen during the month of October. It also shows me a lot of potential for growth. You can see all the leaves, you know, like this four of wands cards. You can see all the leaves on the cards. So let's keep going. Look at that. Another Wands card. The Eight of Wands. Oh my gosh. Love it. Oh my gosh, Gemini. Two cards came out. Look at this. Confirmation. That's your energy, Gemini. And then the Ace of Cups. Wow. And look what else is on the, what's on the bottom of the deck. The Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful energy. Something's manifesting here. So let's go through this. Let's see what this is about. You have judgment and you have the four of wands. This could tell me, you know, don't shoot the messenger if you are not wanting to be with somebody from your past. But it doesn't necessarily mean that this is a past person. Okay, I'm going to say take it how it resonates. This just could tell me too that in love and relationships, you've learned a lot from your past. There may be some decisions here you're making around love and relationships, but I feel for some of you, this could be somebody from your past that is coming towards you, wanting to revisit this connection. Okay, so I'm going to clarify See what we can find out about this. Tell me more about, okay, judgment. All right, this card flew out. You got the power play card. Somebody who is important to you or you felt was very important to you in your past is making a power move coming towards you. Now, I'm going to say this could be somebody who can be a little bit controlling I do feel it's because this person at times can be a bit insecure. But see, look at this. you got hidden desires. So I feel like this is somebody who, from your past, who secretly desires you. And this could definitely be somebody that you're very, very tempted by. 
and you know you do you actually have here strong roots so I'm just gonna say some of you if you're not resonating with the past person this could be a friend because this talks about friends first so either this is somebody you and this person were friends first and then it became more or this is somebody that you know from your past and they have a hidden desire to be with you is strongly what I'm getting there okay and this may be you got protection here this may be somebody who is has been hiding this okay it's like this person's hiding behind the blinds they may be spying on you or keeping an eye on you is what I'm getting with this energy but I definitely feel like this is somebody that you know somebody that you know with the ace of air there it's also a card of communication i feel like you're going to hear from this person now see look what's interesting is you have the magician and you also have here the fool card so some sort of new beginning is manifesting here's the opportunity now some of you may feel this is risky with this fool card you may feel it's risky because Either this is somebody who is a friend and you have a good friendship and you're worried about the dynamic there of a friendship and then you know it goes to something more because when this person comes in, you may know already that this person is interested or some of you may know that this is someone that you feel intuitively is coming towards you. But let me know in the comments who you think this is, if any of those resonate with you, okay? So I do feel this opportunity is manifesting for you but i do feel like you're going to feel this is risky okay now the next two cards you have and i'm going to say this could be a fire sign there's a lot of fire energy it could be an aries a leo or a sagittarius but you have the seven of wands and you have the eight of wands they're potentially could be challenges in the situation and I kind of talked about that with friends uh, somebody who is a friend or somebody from your past this person who is coming towards you they know potentially there could be challenges here they may also feel like it is risky but I feel like this person is making their way towards you anyway this is somebody who wants to overcome whatever potential challenges there are I'm also going to say with this emperor energy you could also work with this person because this is also an employer energy so some of you that could also potentially be a challenge it could even be a friend uh, you know a co-worker at work so that's strongly what I'm getting there I'm going to see why the Eight of Wands is here. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands. Okay, you also have here Radiant Love. So this is somebody who's coming towards you. I feel in a romantic way, they are optimistic about the potential here. This is also an energy of somebody who i feel has this kind of warm fuzzy feeling that's what i'm getting warm fuzzy feeling inside for you is what i'm getting there and you also have here fine romance and this talks about caught, being caught up in a whirlwind of emotions and promises someone very highly attracted to you and you also have mystery here some of you you know there's a ring here this could tell me that this person potentially sees something long term with you okay potentially marriage so this is someone seeing you this way you do have powered love harness your strength and love with confidence okay this talks about steady and solid so I do feel like I said somebody who wants to stick around somebody who wants to overcome whatever challenges there are everybody's in a different place in their love life so I'm not going to be specific what your challenges are but some of you like I said work situ I'm getting work situation friend situation and I'm getting you know potentially if this is a revisit of a past situation then you know the two of you may have had some difficulty or challenges but what i will say the desire is there okay it's always been there the attraction the desire and chemistry and it also talks about manifesting love and i feel like that's what's happening here this person sees i talked about it already with all these green leaves this person is planning look at those two of wands this person is planning i talked about the growth here they're planning 
they're planning action. They're planning to take some sort of action towards you. They're looking at the future. The lovers and the ace of cups. See, this person, it also feels like this person has been very patient in some sort of way. So that could tell me that this person has really waited to come towards you is what I'm getting. I'm going to say here, maybe this person had to make some sort of decision about how they feel about you because I see really, I talked about where's the ring here. I talked about the ring and then here's the 10 of pentacles. This is someone I feel who is serious coming towards you, looking at the long term. And so if this is someone where it's taken some time for this person to come towards you, that is why, because this person is making some big decisions. Now I'm gonna say for some of you, I do see this person either they are, they live at a distance for some of you. So there could be a decision here, a home move. Some of you, this person may be actually thinking about, you know, a move potentially, a home together is what I'm getting. But let's clarify this two of wands. Tell me more about this two of wands. Okay, so this is somebody in the past who had doubts because this talks about questioning past actions and current decisions. So that potentially could uh, go back to here, these challenges. So this is somebody who has had doubts in the past about the future here with you and it's somebody who needed time to really think about things is strongly what i'm getting and look this is another confirmation you have the future on the bottom of the deck finding a long-term harmonious relationship coming soon and commitment so i feel like this is somebody who wanted to be sure about the future with you and look, you have stay strong. See, uh, going back to the seven of wands, fight for love, uh, but choose your battles wisely. This is courage, this is loyalty, and this is truth. This is somebody I feel who is coming towards you wanting to fight for this love for you. And I feel like they have to give you right something solid something stable something long term i feel like that's what this person is coming towards you with this energy remember you have the wheel here going in your favor so wow and look you got the planning phase right going back to that i said this person is planning you know this is your energy too it's a twofold energy but strong uh movement i feel in your love life during october let's pull a few cards here now for money and career and then we're going to get into um seeing what other card i want to pull here and then we're going to pull um a soul guidance for you as well oh boy all right to pull the bottom of the deck so you have uh, this is for money and career it says ups and downs your work has potential for both advancement and stagnation see if there's hope but allow yourself to move on if needed so i feel like some of you may be definitely thinking about making some sort of career move and you know i said here with the page of earth could talk about your potentially a new opportunity others it may be that you may decide to advance your career by going back to school but what's beautiful here is you have here destiny it says well through purpose so some of you may be making a decision to file file to file to follow your life path or your mission Okay, something that feels fulfilling. Some of you may be a healer or an artist, and it's also self-employed. And I feel like I brought up self-employment too. Some of you may be starting a business. See, this person's like kind of spinning their own web here. 
You also have here cosmic cycle. This is wheels are turning. This is like the wheel of fortune energy. You have good luck. Talks about taking risks, another phase in your life. Things are looking up and cash flow. So I feel like there's a new cycle coming in for you when it comes to money and career. And I feel it's leading you to where you are destined to be. And some of you, it may be following your life purpose. So nice energy there, beautiful energy. Let's see what uh, your soul guidance is. What's the soul guidance here for Gemini? Okay, you got the unconscious energy. This says not awake, unawareness of self, prefer familiarity of unconscious, asleep, but think you are awake. Okay. So I'm just going to say this strongly can talk about fears. Okay. So some of you may have some fears about making some changes is what that is saying. Let's see what else here. You also have here the path to intimacy, learning about your sexual behaviors, discovering your true sexual nature. Sexuality plays an important ro uh, role. Gosh, I can't talk today. Some of you have, um, I'm gonna say here, fears around intimacy, or you may have some fears with a particular uh, individual. So I feel like you're really being guided here to maybe explore that. What are you fearing? What are you afraid to face? May not resonate with everybody out there, but it can tell me to like who you've attracted in your love life. Okay, what are the patterns of the people that you have been attracting? And if you've had past relationships that were not healthy relationships, it could also tell me you're attracting um, energy based on your fears. You have spirituality, becoming more spirituality, or becoming more spiritually aware, more spiritually focus choosing a spiritual path that's what I talked about here some of you may be focused on spirituality right now or getting some spiritual guidance to help you through this like I said some of you may be finding your soul purpose and you also have here ancestors clearing ancestral agreements pain trauma limiting beliefs imprints healing ancestral line and future okay so this may be um what i'm seeing here with the fear and intimacy this could be something that's been passed on you know through generations to you but i see that clearing here i feel like i see you getting the spiritual guidance here and choosing a spiritual path which is clearing this line of pain or trauma or limiting beliefs that is coming through here. So Gemini, I hope uh, this reading helped you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.